and welcome back to Backspace Academy. In this lab on AWS Continuous Integration and Continuous Delivery, or CICD for short, we're going to be first off creating an environment, a highly available environment, using the AWS Elastic Beanstalk service. And then we're going to use that to deploy a Node.js application. But we're going to do it using a pipeline that's going to create a pipeline between a GitHub repository that is going to hold our code and it's going to allow us to push our code updates to that GitHub repository. And then this pipeline, this AWS code pipeline that we create will then pick up those changes in that GitHub repository and then automatically deploy it to our environment that we've created on Elastic Beanstalk. And that is a great straight through continuous process for our developers to go straight from creating their code, putting it out, testing it, and then deploying it automatically out to our production environment. We're first of all going to create a pretty complex environment. It'll look something like this, but we're going to use the Elastic Beanstalk service to do it. So it'll create all this for us. It's going to be a highly available and fault tolerant environment. It'll have elastic load balance and it'll have an auto scaling group of EC2 instances that we will be deploying. It will be, it'll be load balancing across multiple availability zones. So it'll have high availability there. But again, we don't need to worry too much about it because the Elastic Beanstalk service is going to do all that for us. So the real heart of all of this CI CD process is going to be the AWS code pipeline. And that will provide that link, that pipeline between our developers and our production environment. I'll make sure that all of the checks and balances occur in between all that as well. So our developers can use a Git repository and that could be on GitHub, and we're going to use GitHub, or it could be on AWS's Git repository, which is AWS CoCommit, or we could just use an Amazon S3 bucket. I wouldn't recommend you do that. It's best to use a Git repository because you have all of the advantages of collaboration and version control that you get that with your developers, and your developers will be very happy to use that. So the pipeline will pull that source code from that Git repository. And then what it can do is it can, if a build process is required, then it will build that application. And it can also test that application. And then once it's okay and it doesn't fail its unit testing or whatever you're doing there, it will then go on and be deployed to our production environment. And so we're going to have our production environment created and managed using AWS Elastic Beanstalk. And that will deploy our code when it receives those requests from the code pipeline service.